Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Let's just invade these guys, right? We're gonna play some more Master of Orion 2016 Early Access. We've got eight Marines here. Five population. Um... Our, our cruisers are really damaged. I don't know, though. Let's take one of the cruisers over to here. And then we can see... Maybe. There's only three population here. How many, how many troops was it defending? Eight marines on both, probably. And we've got 16 marines available. Alright, well let's just take over the one planet. Wow, we didn't even lose a single single marine. I was I was expecting a little bit of a you know trade. Hey look, it's cat people. Little little cat with a business suit on. Research suit and a farmer suit. It's cute. Uh we'll do auto build on this planet. So you got 16 out of 7 defense now, huh? It already has quite a few buildings. What do we have on here? A marine barracks, hydroponic farm, a space elevator. Again, I really don't like this list. I would really, really much prefer to see like a table of buildings or something. I don't... I don't understand it. Terraforming has been complete on Oshiad 3. We are now a Terran planet. Cool. Is there more terraforming available? like, no. I think the only way we can make it into the tropical is if it becomes a swamp first, and I don't know that you can actually control what it terraforms into. But we need a colony ship. Let's just buy it so that we can get Ocead 2, former gas giant, built up. And then over here on Sahu 3, yeah, I still don't have enough to buy out that space factory because I just spent all my money. Gov says we should maximum population. This one's about to finish its terraforming as well. That's cool. Wonder when the next uh, vote's gonna be. I just don't like... Yeah, I mean, I like the auto-build, but I don't like that it builds <laughs> the wrong thing. It doesn't build like... It's like, oh, Marine Barracks, most important thing ever. No, not really. Not when it's in a defensive system. Research per cell plus three, system unique. We should probably knock that out somewhere. It's 200 production. Alright, it was uh, Hydroponic Farm. Government Support Facility. And then research lab. But, system unique, in SLA, we've got tons of people working on this. We're not really doing much at all here. Let's see if we can queue up that system unique research facility. Uh, apparently not. Weird. Do we already have it? Maybe I've already built it, I can't remember. I don't want to search through all of our planets. Astro University. No, yes. System Unique plus three. Okay, we already did build it. Advanced Data Center. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. We don't even really care about the pollution too much. It's, it's kind of decreasing on its own just from the two production. Without any, without doing pollution cleanup, it's still going down. So why don't we just have this planet do trade goods? And then we'll just focus and just have it be a research planet now. It's already max population. Is there any more terraforming available? I doubt it. I should know that because it's already Terran. Never mind. So it's a, yeah, it's a research planet. 
This cruiser and this cruiser are going to explode this planet. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current rankings of diplomatic affinity. I'm so diplomatic. It's ridiculous. <laughs> How on earth could you consider me to be diplomatic, right? Terraforming of Gov's 2 complete. Cool. What do we get? It's Terran rich, large. Three more population available. Lots of like everything, really. We... I like it. Stop doing research here in favor of more production. Because... Yeah. Spaceport would be great. And then it's going to start working on battleships eventually. Good stuff. How about that colony or that uh, that other build ship here? Yeah, let's get you out next turn so we can work on both these planets at once. We're going to need two colony ships for that. Lomar Prime is not doing so great. Slowly working on research labs. We could try to steal population from here, since we've got two people not working. So weird that you can buy this out, even though it's already getting complete next turn anyway. Considering you can make it just two turns, why don't you go ahead and knock a couple of those out for us. We have nanotechnology now. Just finished our research. The brainers are over and done with this new uh, thing. Zortrium armor. Resilience rating one. Armor hull multiplier. Missile armor multiplier. And we have microlight construction. It's just a bonus. Doesn't even say we have to build it. it just reduces production costs in all colonies. That's good. Ship space plus 25%? Wow. High energy distribution. Titan class ship already. Oh, we'll just knock out astrobiology, see what that one does. Got our new armor. Okay, these ships should probably head to here as a group, since that's where the uh, the Altarans, is it? Alkari will come from. Colony ship in one turn. Let's queue up a second colony ship for that other planet that we're going to get. And then over here we got a new guy here. You're gonna go to there. One turn you'll go to there to there. And of course we've got all kinds of stuff in this system. This is gonna be a great system to colonize. These colony ships are gonna it's gonna take a while for you to be able to do anything, but just head there now. You know, be there ready to go. Okay. The Mershon don't look so hot anymore, do they? They got one more system over here. And other than that, the... Uh, I want to call them the Dothraki. That's not what they're called, though. The Bullrathi. <laughs> right. As you can tell, I'm not a Master of Orion player. Like, I don't know uh, all the names of the races. Pretty sizable fleet here, 14,000 powers, decent to protect against them, I think. Um, I don't think they're going to come around this way, um, especially with the, the Guardian there. 
And then other than that, we just gotta kinda keep an eye on this. We're only at war with the yellow and the blue. Or sorry, the yellow and the orange, so... We're looking really strong right now. If we can just get um, a couple of these newer, bigger ships out, it'd be pretty awesome. Gas giant compression. Go ahead and knock that out. It's gonna take you a while, but... Artificial planet construction, sounds good. So one more turn we can start the other planet. Uh, we're gonna need another colony ship for this gas giant once it becomes a thing. It'd be nice if we could get a colony ship off of our capital. Of course, we don't really have any production here. And I'd really prefer to keep it doing research. Maybe we can steal from another nearby planet system. We've got time. Ocead's got 11 people. Pretty good production. Horrible research. Let's have you build a colony ship. We should really have at least one person working that high food, right? This colony ship can go to here. There, now we have one going to each planet. Lomar 2, you actually need to like spend some time regrowing your pop, actually. But we'd like to get you working on battleships. Your production's actually kind of tapered off a little bit. Now uh, Gavs 2 is the best planet. I think I forgot to attack that turn. Oh wait, no, we're moving around, that's why. Colony ship has arrived. Status quo, uh, we will do automated factory, biospheres, hydroponic farm, government support facility, research lab. Now if I put these two cruisers here, can we get them repaired? Let's do that for a while. Pay close attention to the amount of HP they have. Let's end this turn and see what happens. The brainers are over and done with this new thing. Okay, I don't really understand what that does, but sounds good. Weather controller. Unlocks Gaia Transformation Weather Controller. Alright, sure. The brood. For the brood. <laughs> what have you finished building? Government support facility. Oh, okay, so this is one of the ones where I've, I've queued up the five initial buildings and it's already done them all. That's actually pretty good. It's, it's impressive. It worked pretty well. Um, got quite a bit done there. What would be like the second tier things to work on? I wish you could sort this by cost. Right? You can see the number of turns, but I want to see the, the cost. Alright, from here, I think we'll just let it auto-build. It's, of course, going to want the marine barracks, naturally. Yeah, just let it build all the stuff. Getting 200, nearly 200 research per turn now. Welcome to GNN. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current ranking of space fleet strengths. Wow. That was so inform informational. Okay, so that'll be good. We got our two guard posts. We got the humans hanging out there. There doesn't really appear to be like fog of war. Like I don't really understand what this civilian space surveillance system does. Okay, and did these ships, are these ships getting repaired? Ooh, 
diplomatic thing again. Oh no, I'm over here. I don't get to vote on myself. No, I do. Never mind. <laughs> Why do I get to vote on myself? I'm obviously going to vote for myself. And everyone else is going to abstain. Human named Johan. I shall withhold my vote. They've never I once vote. voted, if not for themselves. I don't understand this. I forbear to vote right now. I vote for humanity. Hmm, I just can't seem to make up my mind. I choose myself to rule this council of galaxies. Okay. Still undecided, nobody won. <laughs> okay. But what is the purpose of that feature? It never does anything. It's never once done anything. Another colony ship completed over here. Uh, you, we're gonna go to this planet. All right, we're, we're we're starting work on Battleship Three in Lomar. Twenty three turns, three thousand nine hundred credits. So we cannot buy these out. Uh, we could stop doing research here, which should probably be a good idea. Try to get more production. Eighteen turns. That's a little bit better. And you, you actually have pretty good production too. It's rather impressive. Um. Knock out the hollow simulator, get some more morale here. Certainly have room for growth, so I think we'd like that. Astro University. We're not doing research on this planet, I don't think we ever will. I think both of these, though, would be useful. Just try to get this population up to the max size. More money, right? Okay, you are going to just sleep for now. We'll move that guy in advance. We'll grab him and tell him to sleep too, so we don't get pop-ups about him all the time. What do we have here? These cruisers are most definitely not getting repaired. Maybe they need to be in an actual, like, space point. Like, uh, I know that the military outposts, they do repairs. Do we not have a, a space constructor ship over on this side as well? I think some of them may have died. Can we buy one up here? I need a space factory. And then we'll build one on these two jump points. This planet looks like it's done its its initial buildings as well, so we'll end that turn there and just have it be automatic from here on out. These guys can be on guard duty. I'm sure that soon we're going to be at war with the Bulrathi. We might already be, actually, based on the last star charts thing. Nope, we're not. Transgenetic research the is complete. Are over and done with this new thing. Guy transformation introduces genetically engineered microorganisms into a world to create an environment perfectly suited to both plant and animal growth. Okay. Artificial life. The bio terminator. The most advanced and loathsome biochemical weapon ever devised. Its effects are best left to imagination. Suffice to say that each BT pod launched has a chance of killing one population unit. Cost is 20 production. We should start making those. Let's go for the high energy distribution. <laughs> so this is what was aching the noggin? <laughs> Gaia biomes are rich in food and have the most productive tiles per size class, but this project is expensive and requires a class B planet to undertake it. When it says class B, I'm assuming that means the, uh, Terran. 
Terran would be considered class B. So is it like A, B, C, D, E type thing? Maybe? So we should have access to Gaia Transformation here now. 500 productions, quite a, quite a bit. Um, I mean, we'd have to nerf research a lot, but um, I mean, we just have it work on it. What's the harm, right? In fact, we could buy it out in like two turns. So let's just do that. Wait, hold on. 500 cost, and we can buy it out for 2250? 2250 divided by 500. I thought it was like six credits. Now it's 4.5. Is it because we've got like a building on the planet that gives us reduced buyout cost? Must be. I think we'll try for that. I'd love to transform our, our capital into a, you know, Gaia. Probably be better to do on a larger planet since this is only size medium, but it's our capital, man. We got to do it. Try it. Welcome. To oh, GNN. I don't like here. I don't want to listen to GNN. Research at a Sakura colony suffered a serious. That sucks. Where? It didn't. Where? I guess it doesn't really matter. Buy two 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 six. We have the money for it, but it's not letting me buy it out. Interesting. Well, never mind. Looks like you can't do that. A couple more turns away from getting two more colonies here. We're about to pick up three more colonies in that area. We're going to get our military base out here, which will hopefully repair these two ships. Three ships now. Um, Govs 2 is eight turns away from our first battleship. And Lomar 2 is 14 turns away from second battleship. Once we have those, um, I think we just declare war on the rest of the universe. So, alright, we'll take a break here. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode, though. Thanks for watching. See you soon.